Hi everyone and welcome to Raid Deck Guide for 2021. I've done a previous video explaining about Clan Raid Deck Guide but I've got a few questions asking about which is the best deck builds and how to use them and when to use them. So I thought I'd make a video explaining exactly what cards are and when to use them and how. Uh, you can watch the previous Raid Deck Guide videos I've made in the past. I've linked to all of them below. Uh, this is the latest one for 2021. It has a bit more information but anything with raid tactics I will link below. So to start off first we need to understand what are the main factors that affect a good card deck. Now there's six main points to determine this. One, the type of titan, so if it's armor, body or skeleton. Titan's current health at the time. The type of cards you have, the level of cards, the attack pattern and the name of the titan. These six factors decide whether you have a higher chance of dealing massive damage on a Titan Lord or not. Titan Lords and Clan Raids have eight different body parts. The head, the torso, left shoulder, right shoulder, left hand, right hand, left leg and right leg. Now each body part has its own health and certain cards will have more an effect of a body part than others. So read the description of each card to see which is best suited for the job. Now there's two new raid cards since the last video that has been introduced recently. The two new cards are Maelstrom and Insanity Void. So what are these two raid cards and what do they do? Maelstrom is an affliction card and it says the troubled seas leaves nothing in its wake but froth and shells. Taps have a chance to apply a stack of Maelstrom to the tapped part. Each stack of Maelstrom will increase all raid damage dealt to the afflicted Titan Lord parts. And Insanity Void says, if you gaze long enough into the abyss, the abyss will gaze back into you. And this has taps has a chance to activate a stack of Insanity Void, which increases raid damage dealt for each exposed Titan Lord body part. Both are multiple limb body part decks. Maelstrom is for armor and body, while Void can be used for both, but it's mainly used when it's just body parts exposed as it tends to give more damage. Now here's a word from our sponsor. Hi everyone. First, I'd like to thank Huawei App Gallery for, for sponsoring today's video. And I've got some exciting news today. They have already lowered the price of the in-app purchases even lower. So you can get down for 40 euro just for the ferry skip, or instead of 100, it's down to 80 if you want to be VIP. And for season pass, which is normally 10 euro, it's down to only eight. So I've got some exciting news. To make it even better, we've got some coupons currently out now that you can use for free, which makes even cheaper purchases. If you haven't installed App Gallery already, I've got a link to it in the description below. We told you all the process, how to install it. But if you have already installed and you want to take advantage of this amazing offer, Click on your app gallery and if you go down to either hot offers, there's the Tap Titan 2 campaign. If you click on that, it'll show you the offers we've got on. So we've got two coupons. You've got two coupon for the season pass, which reduces it from eight down to six or eight for the ferry video, which reduces down to 32. So instead of 50 to get ferry skippable ads forever, it's only now 32 euro, which is pretty pretty amazing so to claim it all you do is click on the buttons so you press ok for the terms and conditions you can press claim i have read terms and conditions continue so once they're claimed they will automatically be added to your checkout and you can also see them if you go to your me at the bottom right you can go to coupons and there they are they're in there so you can press use and it'll direct you in game to use them or you can do it in game via when you go to checkout and select which one you want to do when you're here make sure that your region or country is selected to a nordic country i selected finland it's worked absolutely fine to do that you can go down to settings go to country region click on that and at the bottom you can change country or region so it's this section here you can change it to finland if you haven't already i'm just going to quickly click on use which will bring it in game. So when I go to season pass and I go to unlock and I use the eight, it auto automatically add it in discounts. As you can see, it's deducted the two, got my payment information, um, paid it just to six euros. Uh, payment complete. And that's only cost me six euros instead of 10. And if I go to season pass, boom, there you go. Season pass activated, saved myself four euro. 
I'm happy. So it's easy as that. So you've got two coupons to use for this event, which is great. It's got any questions, you can join a Discord server. I'll put a link to it below. And we've got the channel, which is called App Gallery Support and also App Gallery Promotions. So check those two out because any new promotions that come in the future for new coupons, discounts that are free will be dropped in there. So make sure you're following there. And uh, yeah, update us on your feedback. Path Matt, thanks Huawei App Gallery for sponsoring the video. And I'll see you guys soon. Now, there's different types of tiers. There's tier one, tier two, and tier three currently. Tier one is right at the beginnings. It was the first tier you get introduced to when you first start raiding. This beginner section for tier one stages assumes that you have all cards at level one or you're just starting. So basically you low level and a low level clan. Now in tier one, you only get body and skeleton based Titan Lords. And if you use a practice button, you should only be able to fight the body type practice dummy called Lemmy. You normally only get armored Titans from tier two and above. Now these are the kind of basic standard decks. I would recommend try different variants but if you're brand new and you don't know which decks to use, these are good starter beginner decks to use. So slot one, you can have Clanship Barrage and Ancestral Favor, and this can then be swapped to Razor Wind or Psychic Chain. This is for limb or body parts only. So you can have two body parts, hands or legs, and you, you attack in a small loop pattern as shown on the picture. And slot one alternative is that you can do a torso. So you swap the Razor Wind or Psychic Chain for Moonbeam. That's to do a torso damage only. This is one body part and this is a small attack pattern just in the torso. The third variant for slot one would be swapping the Moonbeam for Skull Bash. So this is a head only attack and this is for one part only. And again, a small attack pattern just on the head. So you can either attack two limbs uh, or you can do a head only or torso only attack for your slot one. For slot two, this is different variants you can use. This is Purifying Blast and Acid Drench. And then you can swap in Inspiring Force or Grasping Vines if you want to do limbs. And that's again, same as previously, two body parts and you do a small attack pattern. And then for Torso, you swap in the Inspiring Force or Grasping Vines with Soul Fire for Torso only damage. And for the head, you can swap it for Crushing Instinct for head damage only. So same as the previous one, two limb parts or head only or torso only with small loops as attack patterns. Slot, slot three, four and five. So three is torso only. So this could be Moonbeam, Soulfire and then swapping your Razor Wind or Grim Shadow depending which one is available. And for the head is Skull Bash, Crushing Instinct and again, swap in Razor Wind or Grim Shadow for the head. And lastly, for slot five, if the Titan is at low health and there's quite a lot of exposed body parts, then you can finish it off with Purifying Blast, Acid Drench, and Victory March. You normally do this when there's four or more skeleton parts exposed. And again, you do a small attack pattern on the remaining body part that's left over. So just an example, so you've got five slots available. So if you were to do a standard tier one deck, this is what it might look like. So slot one would be a clan ship and social favor. And that would be with either a psychic chain if you want to do limb only. And then your second limb attack would be your purifying blast, as the dreads, and then grasping vines. And that would be a second limb attack. And then you can either do a torso only and a head only so your torso would be moonbeam soul fire and razor wind and head only will be skull bash crush and instinct and shadow and if it's low health you can finish it off with purifying blast acid drench and victory march if there's more than four body parts exposed so this is kind of set up you would have as a beginner's deck when you get to tier two and tier three, the decks get a bit more complicated. In tier two and three, you have armors you got to take off first before your body parts expose. So the first layer is armor, which only exists in tier two Titan Lords. Armor has its own health and has to be broken through before it gets to the next layer. So always refer to your clan raids strategy before using the deck. Head tends to die first, so a lot of clans don't start with head attacks as it renders the other decks useless. Most clans won't allow body attacks until armor is broken it's highly recommended 
going to the Tap Titans 2 Discord server uh, or my Discord server. I'll provide both links below. Inside there, there's a lot of bot commands that show you example decks for tier two and tier three. Plus, they're just generally in my clan and official Discord clan, uh, people that have strategies and examples and just generally can help you if you've got any questions. So we recommend to be part of a Discord, especially if you are in a high tier clan, that clan would normally have its own Discord, private Discord to help with strategies and timings. So it's always good to explore that. Now, if you go to my clan, you can check under Tap Titans Related and then deck build help and you can input the following commands which will give you lots of deck examples so b exclamation decks low jack will give you low jack desk uh, deck example and there's also tons of other useful commands it's really worth exploring uh, a big credit to immorality's awesome deck builds he's the one that made them so big credit to immorality thank you very much for making this for the community uh, here's a couple examples of what the commands would look like in discord so this is example of low jack so as you can see it's saying attack all parts apart from left hand and leave middle torso for victory march finish and then top left it's got head and there's all the head deck examples you can use if it's armor or body and then right it's got limbs and then it's offered other different variants so it gives you loads of options depending which which cards and deck levels you currently have his example for take dar Again, it says attack all, all body parts, but leave victory much for the torso. And there's loads of dex examples you can use. And here's one for Juck. Exactly the same. Attack all apart from legs, you leave legs out. That's save wastage. This one, a lot of people might use fuse or different variants and then VM to finish it last. They got sterile. The like same as the previous Titan, you don't attack the legs. It's all body parts and leave victory much for the torso. And there's an alternative to Stell that has no victory march if you don't want to use that as part of your raid tactic. And there's Mocha. And again, this is no torso, so do not attack torso. So you can attack all the limbs. And sometimes people use victory march left on the leg. And lastly, Tarot. So again, don't use any alarms. It'd just be head, torso, left leg. And there's a lot of deck examples you can use for those different body parts. Now there's tier two and three advanced strategies. With tier three and above, you have stage and Titan buffs and debuffs. So there's much higher need to be more coordinated with your clan. With tier three raiding, it's definitely advised to be in a well-organized Discord clan or team to be informed when strats are happening and timings of when to hit. So here's a couple samples of meta decks that might be useful in your clan. So slot one could be a Thriving Plague and Rancid, Rancid Gas. With Then you can swap in your Fusion Bomb or Maelstrom, whichever hits more effectively. And this is when Titan Lord is in full health and all armor parts and your attack pattern will be shown as a picture. So it's just around a circle, including a torso. And then alternative could be Thriving Plague, Rancid Gas, and then Void. Void is a new one, it leveled up Void quite high, it can tend to be quite powerful, but this is for body parts only. So when there's no armor left and just body parts exposed, again, you hit all body parts in like an example attack pattern shown on the right. So slot two would be Purifying Blast, Acid Drench, and Totem of Power. This is for Titan at any health, but it's one body part only, and your attack pattern would be quite small loop just on that body part. Slot three could be Clanship Barrage, Ancestral Favor, and a Flax Shot, or Psychic Chain, or another card depending on the buff or debuff at the time. So use Flak on one armor part, which is, it will automatically hit any exposed body part at the same time. This, this is when it's all armor titan, but you're attacking one armor part, and it has to be one or two exposed body parts yeah, if you're using flak in that deck example. And then slot four would be Victory March and any other two burst cards, for example, Razor Wind or Moonbeam if you're hitting torso or swap Moonbeam with Skull Bash if you're hitting head. Now this is when Titan health is very low and mostly all skeleton parts are exposed. And then you just do a small attack pattern on that one body part. Now each clan have their own meta decks, which you may also change due to stage debuff. Always check if you can need a first and check which deck you should be using. And a quick thank you to Mez Ezzy Rose for the, providing a little pick for VM. And one final tip, I would recommend put your raid retry on so that you're enabled to retry your raid if it goes wrong, you can retry it again and again. And you can always press exit 
if you want to change the deck or you accidentally selected the wrong deck you're free to press the exit button and it won't count the attack at all and then select your new deck to retry again i hope this has been very helpful if it has make sure that you've liked and subscribed so you'd all the latest all the latest guides that come out for tap titans 2 you'll be informed straight away i do stream on twitch every wednesdays and sundays at 8 p.m gmt so if you've got any questions for me then feel free to drop them by and have a bit of fun thanks for watching i'll see you all in the next video take care bye